What up, Block fam, and welcome to another video where I cover an upcoming injective token release as well as the new farming airdrop details that we just got. Now, the token we're going to be covering today is called KJ Finance, and they're actually one of the newest projects launching on DojoSwap's launchpad. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Now, what exactly is KJ Finance? Now, KJ is trying to be the only trading platform you need on the injective chain. And if you guys have heard of Bankba on Solana before, they're essentially mirroring that. They're making a Telegram bot where you can make all these different trades and swaps way quicker and way more customizable than the current decentralized exchange options we have out there. Now, what's interesting is BankBot has done nearly $1 billion of transactions and has generated over $10 million worth of revenue in a very short period of time. And KJ Finance is now trying to do the same thing, but in the Cosmos ecosystem, first starting with Injective. Now, KJ Finance announced that they are going to be launching on DojoSwap's launchpad. This is actually the second release and they're going to have a 450,000 US dollar market cap which I'll go over a little bit later in this video. Being on this Dojo Swap launchpad does give it a little bit more legitimacy and at least with the roll token that we had on the first launchpad we were sitting at around a 2 2.5x at the peak of the token. Now it's come down some but they've announced today they're actually going to be using some of their funds to buy back this token if it goes under pre-sale and I'm expecting they're going to do the same thing with Kaja. To go over the platform platform a little bit more so you guys know what to expect. They're trying to create this all-in-one platform that is not only going to be on Telegram in the beginning, but in quarter two of this year, they're hoping that they can make their all-in-one platform on an actual website. And the whole premise is, is that you're going to be able to buy and sell all these different tokens that have to be listed on DojoSwap, at least in the beginning. You're going to have faster trades than people that are just going through different DEXs, and they're also going to have portfolio tracking embedded in this as well. Now, I don't know how much faster it's actually going to be. I know on Solana, BankBot was actually a lot faster. So we'll have to see how successful this actually is on the Cosmos side of things. As far as the KJ token that they are releasing in parallel with this actual platform, there's going to be a few different special utilities, such as unlocking advanced features, such as limit orders, having different sniper bots, having security scanners, and more. There's also going to be a revenue share back to the holders. So if this platform does well and this bot does well and a lot of people use it now all of a sudden there's going to be a revenue stream back to the holders and then also right now there's actually a whole entire airdrop campaign going on for people that are actually using this bot right now you can't buy any token using this bot i'm sure that they're going to add that functionality in the future but for now you can only do tokens that are listed on dojo swap so that's just another point to keep in mind and every time you make a transaction with this bot 1% of that transaction is actually a fee and that gets distributed to a couple different places. To show you guys a few more details on their recent Medium article, they're saying traders are going to be able to use Kaje to unlock advanced features and earn Kaje tokens as trading incentives. So you're going to be able to earn these tokens from using the bot. They're also going to have liquidity providing incentives, very similar to Roll, I believe, where there's gonna be a super high APR in the beginning on Dojo Swap, and you can actually farm and get some pretty insane yields if you're some of the first people into that farm. And then they're also saying holders can accumulate this KJ token. You're actually gonna be able to stake it and you're gonna be able to get rewards and different things that they do in their ecosystem. And once again, they say that these tokens are going to unlock premium features, such as the token sniper, different token safety checks, and limit order functions. Now there are limit orders are ready on Astroport as well as Helix, but Helix doesn't always have all the tokens listed. And I've run into so many different issues with Astroport. So I'm actually curious to see how well these limit orders do when it comes to this bot and how much faster it is compared to our different DEX options out there. When it comes to their tokenomics, guys, they are allocating 15% towards their treasury. 10% is going to their team, which is vested over a 12 month period. 15% is going to the launch pad with Dojo Swap. 5% is going to the initial LP. There's then going to be 2.5% or 2.5 million tokens going to this upcoming airdrop that I'm about to cover, as well as an additional 52.5% for different community protocol emissions. And I'm sure this is different incentives for actually using these different bots and paying those different transaction fees. Now, what's really interesting about this specific upcoming launch is that they are launching on Dojo Swap, and they're going to be launching on the 27th. It's going to be a 24 hour period where people are going to be able to send send in the injective and dojo pair in order to now get a portion of the supply of Kaje. Now this Kaje token is going to be $0.03 per token. And if my 
math is right and we start with 22.5% supply, which is the 2.5% airdrop as well as LP as well as Launchpad, then we're going to be looking at a starting circulating market cap of 675,000 USD with an FDV of about $3 million. So in my personal opinion, this is worth going for, not financial advice and do your own research. But I think this is a pretty low starting circulating market cap compared to the potential of where this can go if this is a bot that a lot of people end up using. And to be honest, it's something that's needed, especially the portfolio side, because there's no analytic tools whatsoever on Injective that I know about. When it came to the role release on the launch pad of Dojo Swap, guys, there was a 5X oversubscription, just so you guys know. So about 520 or 525% got sent in over their raise. Now that raise was 300K hard cap. This is a 450K hard cap, but I think that's going to go well over their hard cap again. So just be aware that you might only be getting about 20% of those tokens and the rest is going to be refunded to you. Now on to the airdrop, which a lot of people are probably curious about. How do you actually get this airdrop? Well, guys, 2.5% of their tokens are going to this airdrop campaign. And essentially starting now all the way until February 6, I believe, you're going to be able to make different transactions on their actual bot. So whenever you're making transactions, instead of using Helix or Astroport or CoinHall, you can instead actually use this Telegram bot, which I'll show you guys how to use. And yes, there is a 1% fee, but what's going to happen, guys, is you're going to be able to accumulate this Bukage token, and you're going to be able to exchange this Bukage token for the actual main Kage token. Now, I wanted to do one calculation here to kind of guesstimate how much Kage we're going to get for every single Bukage, because I don't think it's going to be a one for one, depending on the amount of volume that comes in. So if you think about it, we have have 2.5 million tokens that are allocated for this specific airdrop, for this specific farming event. And we know that we are getting 10 Bukage for every single one injective spent. So if we divide this 2.5 million divided by 10, we get 250,000 injective. And if we multiply 250,000 injective by $35 per injective, we're looking at about $8.75 million. So in my opinion, if over $8.75 million is transacted on this, then we are no longer going to get a one-to-one -one on Bukage. And if it's under 8.75 million, then there's a chance that we can actually get a higher amount of Kage for every Bukage we have. So just something to keep in mind. Now, the other thing that's interesting is Kira, the second largest meme coin on Injective, is also giving an additional 25 million tokens towards people that are doing these different trades. So once again, we don't know how much Kira you're actually going to get, but if you're already making trades on Injective, maybe it's worth making some trades on here because you're going to be able to pay 1% yes, but there's a chance that these additional Kira tokens, as well as these additional Kage tokens, can actually outweigh that. Another interesting thing is that you can also refer people to this program as well, and you can get a percentage of all the different transactions they make. So for every one injective one of your referrals makes, you're getting about 2.5 Bukage. So yes, it's kind of like a Ponzi type thing. We're starting to see this sort of thing a lot in the crypto space, where it's like, hey, get this invite code, and then other people make money from it. It's kind of the trend going on right now. So if you're someone that knows other people that might sign up for this or might be interested in it, you could potentially make even more from the referral. Now, how exactly do you use this bot, guys, and how do you get started? Well, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need an invite link. Now, I'll put one in the description, but a bunch of people are always giving me shit for having referral links. So if you're someone that is going to give shit and doesn't want to click on my referral link, just simply go to their Telegram, guys, and there's so many people posting their different links, and I'm sure you can go on Twitter and find someone else's link, but I will put my link in the description for people that want to get started. Now, once you actually have this bot, you are now going to get an Injective wallet address, and this is where you can actually deposit Injective into this address. Now, the first thing I recommend you guys doing is hitting wallet, and what's going to happen is it's going to give you guys the seed phrase to this wallet. This is the very first thing that you guys are going to want to do, because God forbid you lose 
lose access to this, now all of a sudden all of your money is stuck in this wallet. So make sure you click on that. If you want to now have referrals, you can simply click this referral button and you're going to get a link that you can share to other people if you wanna do that. Now outside of that guys, there are different settings you can have and these settings allow you to basically have way faster trades and way more customized trades than the current DEXs out there. So you can go turbo, for example, in order for your gas fees to be a lot higher than the average so your transaction goes through quicker. You can change your language, you can increase the slippage, you can hit, hey, buy big at five injective, you can hit sell big, which is selling 100%, you can hit sell small. These are all of the different settings that you can mess with, such as me clicking buy big at five injective. And now I can say, hey guys, I'm actually a baller and my buy big is 25 injective. So now that's going to change for whenever I make trades in the future. Now I can go back on the settings after I messed around with it. And the big thing I can do is hit trade once I've actually deposited injective into this wallet. Now, once you guys actually want to make a trade, all you have to do is hit this trade button and it's going to ask you for the token or pool address. Now these can be only tokens that are on DojoSwap in the beginning, but the way you're able to get this address guys is by going on their main site and clicking on the actual role address. Now I would recommend clicking on the specific pool because what's happening is people are opening up smaller pools and this bot is automatically trying to go and purchase from the cheapest price of the pool. But some of the cheapest prices guys might have next to no liquidity and you're going to pay absolutely crazy price impact. So I recommend hitting pool instead of this actual token. Now what's weird is earlier when I was messing with this guys, this pool function was not actually working. And you can see here it says invalid pool. But when I go back and I click this actual roll address, what you'll notice is that it is going to give me a price. But earlier it was actually showing me the price impact of how much it would cost to actually buy this. And that price impact was absolutely ridiculous because it was choosing from a smaller pool. So just be careful. I'm not actually sure why it's not showing the price impact of what's happening here, but just be careful when you're using this bot and make sure you're actually getting a proper deal and that it's not pulling from the other one. And honestly, I would wait until they fix this, maybe wait a day or two, because right now I can imagine a lot of people getting screwed from it buying automatically from the wrong pool because it doesn't seem like it's as advanced as it should be right now. But yeah, guys, that pretty much summarizes how to actually make trades on here. Bonkbot was very very successful for this sort of thing. And I would definitely mess around with it if you're making different trades. The opportunity cost is if you're making trades on here, instead of making trades on let's say Helix where they're also going to have some sort of airdrop. And there's also the opportunity cost of you paying 1% per transaction. But as I was saying earlier, I think if it is a one-to-one -one here, there's a chance that this airdrop and farming this is actually going to give you more money than simply not doing transactions through here in that 1% based on the different numbers I'm seeing. But once again, a lot of this is speculative because we don't know if it's a one-to-one -one and they only allocated 2.5 million tokens tokens to this. But I think it's one of those situations that if you're making different trades and transactions anyways, maybe it's worth doing some of the transactions on here rather than doing it on DojoSwap or Helix and just getting those extra tokens as well as those bonus Kira tokens. And once again, guys, I'd kind of wanted to show you the math behind this. If we think about it, 2.5 million tokens are being allocated towards this actual drop. Now, we don't know what the price of the token is going to be, but let's just assume that this token is about 0.03, which is where the launch pad is opening up at. So on the lower side, if it stayed at the launch pad's price, you're looking at about $75,000 that are going to be distributed to everyone on this platform. Then we also know that they are taking a 1% fee for all of these different transactions that are happening, and they're also giving us 10 Bukage tokens for every single one injective we spend. So if we are spending one injective, and now we're paying a 0.01%, so a 0.1% on that, we are paying 0.35 cents in fees for every single one injective we spend. Now what's interesting is we are now getting 10 Bukage tokens, and if this Bukage is a one-to-one -one, guys, and we are going off simply the pre-sale price, which I think it's gonna go above the pre-sale price, we're looking at 0.3 tokens or 0.3 cents for every single one injective or for every single 35 cents you spend. So on paper, you're losing about five cents for every single transaction you're doing compared to the airdrop that you are going to get from this. But that's assuming that this token 
token price stays at that 0.3 number, it's also assuming that this exchange is going to be one for one when we don't know if it's one for one. And then it's also assuming that we are not getting any additional value from Kira, even though they're giving an additional 25 million tokens for this. So there's a lot of different assumptions that are going on, but I personally think that the odds of it staying at a 675,000 USD market gap is actually on the lower side. And I could see this doing a 2X for example and going to about 1.5 million uh, circulating and then maybe 4.5 million as far as an FDV, simply because I think that a lot of people would actually use this if they're able to deliver on all the different things they're doing. And this is a low starting cap in my opinion. That pretty much summarizes everything that you need to know about this upcoming release as well as this airdrop farming opportunity. I'm personally going to be making some transactions because right now the numbers seem to be adding up and they seem to be making sense for me. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just going to be doing transactions that I was already going to do otherwise, like moving into de-injective and doing the liquid staking or maybe buying some uh, dojo in order to basically stake that and participate in the pad, whatever the case is. So I'm pretty much going to trade just like I usually do, but instead use this bot, making sure the price impact and making making sure the pool that it selects is actually legit. And then I'll probably go for this drop as well since I'm holding a decent amount of dojo and I'll probably sell some, uh, at least in the beginning, uh, if it can do a two, three X right away, similar to what Roll did. And then I'll be keeping some for the longer play because I'm personally a pretty active trader. And if I can get discounted fees for holding this token as well as sniping and these different advanced analytics and faster trades and all that sort of stuff. And if it can actually snipe new tokens launch where there's all these new tokens that are launching on Injective over the next couple months, then that's something that I'm personally going to want and I'm going to see some value in. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.